Ambassador Sandoval to share a few words. I want to acknowledge and thank Shaina Coronel, our Director of Communications. Shaina, um, as many of you might know, uh, is the daughter of Ecuadorian immigrants. Uh, and I tell you, we couldn't get much of the work done uh, without uh, Shaina's leadership in our office, especially over the last couple of months, last couple of weeks. She's worked tirelessly for the immigrant community, and I know how important it is because she is a daughter of immigrants and has seen for herself the struggles and the challenges that Ecuadorians face, but also how beautiful the community is. And despite all the challenges, they're coming together and thriving, and they're represented in you here today. So on behalf of the city of New York, thank you, Shaina, for all that you do for our community. Thank you, Shaina. Of the King of England that stood in the middle of the fountain, and they destroyed that statue declaring their independence from oppression. But what makes this so important is that eight years later, General George Washington returned right here to Bowling Green into New York City for the first time since 1776, rode down Lower Broadway for one singular purpose. The Americans had won but he came here to officially declare victory and the end of the American Revolution because there was only one British flag left anywhere in the 13 states still flying. It was right here at Bowling Green. And on November 25th, 1783, George Washington and the Continental Army came in to New York City and down here to Bowling Green to witness the lowering of the last British flag ever to fly here in the United States and the raising of the American flag right here where we are. The British did not make it easy. They had nailed their flag to the top of the flagpole that stood then, and one of the soldiers had to climb up the flagpole and take it down so that the American flag could fly. To this day, we continue to fly a 13-star American flag, and I wear a 13-star American flag in honor of this being the most important and significant flag raising in American history, and why we are so proud to have you here to raise your flag along with all the other nations who have done so. Mayor Adams is not here yet, but last time he was here a few weeks ago, we declared him the first hero of Bowling Green because as opposed to every other mayor since 1996 when we erected the second flagpole, he is the first mayor to show interest in raising flags at Bowling Green. And he has returned here many times as he will today and I believe he will continue to. And it's an extraordinary appreciation for the fact that he has recognized the importance of Bowling Green as the most historic place in New York City. Along with the mayor, the, the mayor's office of immigrant affairs has been unbelievable. If it was not for them, along with the mayor's support, would we be doing all these flag raisings? Um, Commissioner Manuel Castro and his staff have done an outstanding job as they're doing today. Shana Coronel, Eileen Reyes, and Cesar Vegas, they are the dynamic trio. Well, thank you so much, uh, Arthur, and to the Bowling Green Association for this partnership which allows us to celebrate and uplift our immigrant communities, uh, but also celebrate uh, the fight for democracy, freedom, uh, and the values that we share. And so I thank you, Arthur, and the Bowling Green Association for the work that we have done together, and of course, our team here at the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs, and everyone at City Hall and City Government who helps put together these events. And so with that, I would also like to acknowledge and thank Commissioner Mermelstein, who is here with us today, Commissioner of the Mayor's Office of International Affairs. I would also like to thank Ambassador Jose Sandoval, who's joining us here today along with Dr. Rodriguez Benitez, Consul General Adjunto de Ecuador in Nueva York. And of course, Comité Galo Plaza for all the support and work in pulling this event together. And all the community organizations 
uh, that have worked together with my office to ensure uh, the well-being of Ecuadorian communities across New York City. We'll talk more about uh, the, our wonderful Ecuadorian communities and uh, how they make this uh, the richest, one of the richest uh, cities in the world because of their contributions, not just to our economy, but our culture and our life here in New York City. So first, I would like to invite um, Jimena to speak and share a few words about Carlo Plaza and about today's activities. Thank you, Jimena. To me, it's a pleasure sharing uh, with not only the Ecuadorian American community, but all Latin American communities, because this flag that today we're going to raise is extremely special. This flag was handmade in the heart of Manhattan, uh, the garment district, by Colombian women, by Peruvians, by Mexicans, and my Puerto Rican friends. We did an order online to a factory in a different part of the world. We really want to show that the, when this uh, flag is going up, is a symbol of the uh, integrity, of the unity of the Latin American countries. So is Mexico here, is Colombia here, is Puerto Rico and Peru, and Ecuador at the middle of the world always reuniting the people. Now so. I would like to invite Ambassador Sal Sandoval to share a few words. English, good afternoon. Dear Major Adams, dear Commissioners, Ambassador Christian Espinosa, permanent representative of Ecuador to the United Nations, distinguished authorities, and fellow Ecuadorian citizens who have joined today. This is a very special occasion for my country because for the first time the flag of Ecuador will be raised in this historic place where the flag of the United States of America as a free country was raised for the first time. Today's commemoration is a call to reinforce our vocation for freedom work together acknowledging our shared democratic values and the respect for human rights. As we stand before our flag, we reaffirm the commitment of the Ecuadorian government to work tirelessly for the benefit of all its citizens, both in the national territory and abroad. Mr. Major, the Ecuadorian community has a historical presence in this city. Suffice to say, that one of our most illustrious leaders and later president of the Republic, Galo Plaza Lasso, was born in New York City, and his name is engraved together with those of outstanding personalities in one of the avenues of the city. For us Ecuadorians, the American dream beats with the Ecuadorian flag. Thank you very much. Ambassador, que viva Ecuador! Que vivan los emigrantes de Nueva York! And now, it is my great honor to introduce to you the mayor of the city of New York, Mayor Eric Adams. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. And uh, this is a extremely significant moment when you look at the history of the Ecuadorian people and don't allow anyone to take your historical connection away. In 1809, Ecuador became the first Hispanic American nation to declare its independence. The first. And your actions caused a cascading effect throughout the entire region, those who proclaim their independence from Spain. And today I'm proud to celebrate your 213 years of independence. I also want to welcome the Council Generals, the Ambassadors, the Dignitary, the Community Leaders, Artists, and the group of women who sold the flag. Thank you so much. And New York City is Ecuadorian city. We have the largest Ecuadorian population outside of Ecuador lives right here in New York City. 
And what is wonderful about this country, this is one of the few countries on the globe where you are not told to abandon your homeland as you embrace your adopted land. In fact, our secret weapon is when you bring the arts, the culture, your business acumen, your benevolence and friendships and relationships and mix it with the American culture. That is what makes us great as a country and no one does it better than the Ecuadorian community. And I say thank you for that and let's continue to do the relationship building that we are doing. For over 100 years, that bond between our city and Ecuador has been strong. The steadfast friendship was forged by great global leader and 29th president, Ecuador Gallo Plaza. There is a piece of history that sits out in front of City Hall with his name on a piece of granite permanently part of our platform of this city and country. He said living in New York helped him learn the virtues of freedom and democracy. And he took those values with him to Ecuador. He was a New Yorker through and through, but he was an Ecuadorian through and through. And that's the marriage that we enjoy so much. And what are we doing today in the significance of this moment? that I want to be here each time we raise a flag for another country. This is Bowling Green, right here at the foot of the bull. We are bullish on saying that our city and country is a diverse place that welcome all groups. That's who we are. And just as we welcome groups in yesteryears, we are on a precipice of welcoming new groups even when other states tell them they're not welcome here in America and New York, we are saying you are welcome here and we are going to provide the support you deserve. And I thank my once dreamer, my commissioner of Mayor Office of Immigrant Affairs, who brings his life story to know how important it is for us to open our borders and allow people in because all of us have the energy and the spirit that's associated not only with the American dream, but the dream to reach our full potential. And to the Bowling Green Association, this plot of real, real estate, this has become our modern day United Nations. You have allowed us to raise flags after flags and bring us together and show that this city is representative to everyone. I'm excited to be here today with the Ecuadorian peers. I'm excited as we move our city forward together as one city, unified with the beauty of our different cultures, different ethnicity, and different understandings of each other. And so today, in honor of the community's generosity and fierce commitment to fairness, I, Eric Adams, mayor of the city of New York, hereby proclaim Wednesday, August 10th, 2022 in the city of New York as Ecuadorian Heritage Day. Congratulations to you. I would like to invite Mayor Eric Adams and Ambassador Sandoval to raise the Ecuadorian flag. Do you 
sauveur, le petit chat des Thank you.